Drama is IT based, so it uses a lot of technology. Um, I couldn't do without it. A lot of things for reflections I use in drama where children have to record the information, they uh, record their voices. I use a lot of uh, OneNote for reflection. I use it to put all their bits of evidence and information and research they do on drama characters. For instance, they were doing a research on emotions and how to uh, create a character and what does that emotion mean and they had to look at the definition. Then they had to find examples of it on the internet uh, through magazines and then they had to take photos of that and then they all had to put it into one note and create uh, their documents so that I can then use it for assessment as well. I use it mainly though for reflection, a tool of reflection. Inspiration, I use videos and short YouTube clips, a safe thing so kids don't have to look at other videos. Usually I use video clips uh, to uh, create dialogue with students and then they talk about it and they will um, not only talk about it, they'll have to use it as a script. So I'll get a video clip, turn the, the music or the words, uh, the characters' words down, and then the students have to create their own script from that and speak for the characters on video. Um, that builds confidence and it tends to get the kids used to improvising. So I use it a lot for my um, inspiring pieces to inspire students. I use a lot of uh, lighting, a lot of music, I find, um, all my technology through through music and the camera. I use the camera a lot for my own personal assessment. We've slowly started a project of a small group of students who love doing film. Last year I did uh, short skits. Uh, this year we're starting a film club and the film club is learning how to use a camera, green screen, um, how to edit, use lighting, uh, using um, state headsets, all of those kind of things that are really important in drama. Um, they're going to uh, create a slapstick kind of comedy. They will do it in front of the green screen and then uh, basically the students will pick their background, their scene, um, and then next year hopefully we'll do put a lot of their short films into festivals.